At Games finally decided to release images of what their Legends pinball cabinet will actually look like, as well as it actually having uh, gameplay on the screens. We've been waiting for something other than a render to appear, because that's what all the other images were up until this point. And then, lo and behold, they did a uh, media dump, and it popped up all over the place. And so we decided, because we're not part of that media dump, <laughs> no. we need to take a look at this with fresh eyes, because just in that last episode, we were talking about what are the things that... Uh, Each of the cabinet manufacturers will take away from the other cabinet manufacturers. Exactly. And what would they, what would they honestly steal? As a concept. And interestingly enough, some of those things wound up just plain being in this build. So mm. this is what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to take a look at these and we're going to kind of break this down. So let's uh, drop us down to a little small screen here. Look at that. And through the magic of technology, because I'm slowly figuring these things out. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> there it, it is, is, folks. Now, that is what do we the, see here? That is the redesign. So, yeah. yes, what are we seeing here? What is... We are actually seeing this with images on the screen. We are, uh, I have a better image coming up that we'll uh, look at with the, uh, the shape of the cabinet. But look at that. There's an actual lock bar now for uh, yeah. Jared to not have pointy corners uh, jabbing into oh. his palms. Yep. Um, I'm so glad to see that added. Like uh, That was a massive oversight. The crazy busy apron is gone if now just a simple legends pinball i think they did much better. much better there it's not so busy on the eye there um not so busy it had, on it had way too much visual weight like your eye was just drawn to that all the time like right. when you're playing the game so this is much better yeah right Peace better so there's there's that angle so so far so good so far we're saying yay um although what is up with <laughs> what is up with the little tiny bag glass uh, with the speakers oh, yeah. and the DMD display. I'm assuming because of what's being shown on the play field with the whole cabinet, this, this is probably flyby mode, flyover mode. Um, yeah, it looks similar to it because I don't see a view like that normally in Pimble Arcade. Like, it no. looks like it's doing table overview mode. Yeah, so that's what I'm kind of assuming is with that. Okay, but let's, uh, let's close that picture out. Let's look at the uh, next one we have here. Ah, okay, so here you can see that the... the cabinet is not so wedge-shaped like it was previously. Uh, somebody, mm. I saw somebody that had likened it to a shopping cart. Um, <laughs> yes, it did look previously. a bit like that. Uh, this also yeah. gives us a little bit more detail, obviously, on the legs, which... which We looks... have another picture we're going to show you. The, I, the legs, I don't know. They're weird. Um, they mm. look like metal, but they look like they're sprayed with something not metal i don't know um, looks like what i use when i'm like restoring my dodgy gotly pinballs and i have really rusty legs and i use the rustoleum um <laughs> like silver on them it, and it, it's a matte finish it sort of is matte instead of chrome. maybe has a little bit of sheen to it it's certainly not chrome no and um if you look at it though the rest of the the i guess the hardware on the machine isn't either so right I'd imagine that probably, you know, electroplating metal isn't cheap. So they probably just went with the powder coating like they've done here. Um, um, obviously it's you can it's also, durable. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you can also see there's a, there's a better angle on the uh, corner of the uh, lock bar. Um, hmm. It looks so like those lock bars, they're not just, I don't know if those are Allen screws or just rivets. Um, yeah, they're Allen screws. They're Allen screws. Because you can take, you can, I think you can take the whole side molding off okay. if you need to mold it. I would it. think so. Uh, yeah, that plunger. Yeah, so Let's talk about that plunger for a moment. That plunger is different to the one they originally had, which was sort of like a sort of a had like a taper on it. I'm using this hand motion with my fingers. <laughs> um, it's a, like a, a taper thing, but now it's actually more of a handle style thing. But it looks just... like it looks a lot like what is on the Toy Shock and well played. It looks like a plastic plunger. It really does look plasticky. Like the the one thing that Arcade One Ups Cabinet has over this is that they actually use a real plunger body and plunger yeah. uh, assembly, and it just it just makes it look so much better. I don't know why 
they would have gone with something like this when they spent so much time and effort on making something that looks as close as possible to the pinball machines in yeah. the real world. They've just done this and it just looks cheap and plasticky. Um, rather than having... Okay, so they have the uh, the faux coin door there, which is definitely an improvement over having just the four buttons across the front. Um, yeah. You still have four buttons, but now they actually look like they're integrated in part of an actual pinball cabinet. So that's good. Um, I, I like I, that. I like that. Uh, I don't know for sure, but it almost seems like the... I know they're using the same artwork on the side of the cab, but it looks like it. it's not so bright. I don't know if that's just me or mm. what other angles. But it could have just been. It could just be the angle. Well, I think the front of the cabinet looks a little bit better lit. It looks like it's front lit. Um, so the side of the cabinet might be just in a little okay. bit of shade. I, think. I still think it's way too busy um, because no that mm. that image of Gladiator doesn't have anything to do with the image of Centigrade, which doesn't have anything to do with the image of eighteen twelve on the front. Um, it's just still a mishmash collage um yeah it is i'm not really big on that but all right let's move on to the next pick here but you uh, know that all the models will just go you know what we're just gonna we're just gonna wrap it and um just put a, a wrap around it but you know I joe see. average consumer probably won't even care that's the thing well or there's joe average consumer that doesn't want to spend another 80 dollars on a wrap yeah so uh, Joe, I think Joe Average Consumer will just go, meh, whatever, I'll just put up with it. <laughs> Probably. Uh, front of the machine. <laughs> so there you get a uh, even better look at what the coin door looks like. Um, it's nice and glossy. Uh, but there you really get the look of those legs where just from this particular photo, they just look, yeah, dull. They, they're definitely powder-coated. <laughs> dull powder-coated. Um, and then you can get an idea of also that a D-pad up on top gives you a little uh, better. I heard they actually moved the position of that a little bit. So it's a little bit closer or centered more. So it's probably a good idea to keep it away from the edge because it was quite close to the edge before. Oh, was it really? I didn't, I didn't know yeah. that before. And I think, it's, uh, I think it's better. Now have a look just before you go away from yeah. that um, picture. Take a look at the two screws mm -hmm. on the top of the, the, the control pad area up the top there. That looks like to me that it's suggesting a removable panel there, right? Yes. Can you see those two? So, yes. yeah, it looks like that the reason why they've designed the uh, the lockdown bar like that, you'll see more clearly that those are actually proper screws that you can undo, um, is that you would take off that lockdown bar, you would slide out that control panel, and then you put your own one in, or like from another At Games Family um, product into that area. So very similar to what Akuda was doing with theirs. It, it looks obvious that's what they're yeah. future-proofing for there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so next pick would be... Okay, here's our look at the back box. Mm. What do you happen to notice about this image of the back box? Well, the first thing I notice is that it's a big, flat piece of perspex with holes cut out of it, but there's one hole that's definitely not cut out and that's where the At Games logo is. What would you be expecting there, Chris? I thought for sure that was a DMD. I always yep, thought that was too. a DMD. It's where the DMD would typically go. And yep. imagine my surprise to realize, wait a second, this doesn't have a DMD on it? <laughs> yeah, the DMD turns out to be the 16 by 9 screen, it seems. Yeah, that's it, which is a 15 and a half inch screen. Yeah. Um, which so... it kind of looks tiny in that back box it's i mean it's really it's a bit like the, there's a lot of stuff in the back box that doesn't need to be there now i suspect and this is what i've seen up on looking at the forums that you can get like an an lcd panel that is about conveniently the same size as that legends pinball side and you could actually put that lcd panel potentially up into that area and turn that into a dmd but why would so, instead they should have made the at games be the spot where you would put the DMD like you would anywhere else? <laughs> yeah. What do you think about it though? Like that's a if you're thinking about the way you lay out something, you got a title, usually at the top of the you know, the back glass, then you got like the screen and the DMD down the bottom. So I I understand what you're saying, Chris. Like you think that if that's what they were thinking of doing, actually allowing them to put the L C D marquee down the bottom. 
they should have reversed the order of everything, mm -hmm. but they may not have quite got that far with their thinking yet. Yeah, um, I don't know. That's a. I'm, I, I'm kind of. I'm. I'm rather disappointed <clears throat> with with this. I thought the monitor, and I should have realized with again, it's a 15 and a half inch wide or diagonal monitor. Um, I thought it was going to go edge to edge. And yeah. instead it looks like I'm, there's this little tiny window. And again, my first reaction was, wait a second. So on this smaller monitor, you're now going to have them squeeze the entirety of the back glass and score display into that, which is even all the smaller. But that was my initial reaction. We'll get into why I, again, why I think this is just a flyover. 